What's going on everyone? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some ban list predictions. I'm talking about why I think the April 2018 ban list is going to shake things up, change things up, and get us out of this healthy but annoying format we're currently in. So I'm just going to shoot straight into it and talk about why personally I think the format right now we're in is a good format, but I hate it. So then after that, I get into my predictions and everything. But the format right now is pretty much, you can pretty much win with any deck. But at the same time, the meta decks, with the way that they beat you, like for example, Trick Stars, Reincarnate, Reincarnation in your final, your entire hand is freaking retarded. Or Masterpiece coming out, being unprotected by everything and just controlling board is obviously dumb. And that's something a lot of players do not like dealing with. And then Pendulum Magicians making an entire board of break me or lose i feel like Yu-Gi-Oh has gotten to a point where if whoever goes first has a huge advantage and it's also gotten to a point where hand traps matter so if you go first and your opponent and their opponent doesn't have a hand trap nine times out of ten if you have a lit hand you're gonna win so with that being said i'm gonna give you guys my predictions for this format i mean sorry i'm gonna give you guys my predictions for this ban list and talk about some cards i think potentially will come back so you start into the video by saying like the video if you haven't, subscribe if you haven't. First card I think is gonna get hit. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the decks first. Dex is gonna get hit. Off back, I, I predict True Draco getting hit, Trick Stars getting hit, Pendulums in general getting hit, Invoke Mech Knight, maybe. Now, let's touch on Trick Stars since they since they just won the recent YCS. Tricks, I'm sorry. Let's talk about True Draco since they just won the recent YCS. True Draco is a deck that turbos through its entire freaking deck, like cards like Pot of Avarice, Pot of Duality, Card of Demise, the bring out Masterpiece of the True Draco, who pretty much says when he hits the board, he'd be unaffected by monsters, spells, and traps, and he can pop your cards by banishing a continuous spell card or continuous trap card of the graveyard. In addition to that, his, the deck plays has a lot of recursion through their trap card that brings him back. The deck also have um, the spell card that draws your card and shifts your deck. In addition to the spell and trap having effects when they leave the field, I believe the, sp the spells in the deck, when they leave the field, they pop monsters. When the traps leave the field, they pop spells and traps, or vice versa. People didn't know how good True Draco would be going into this format, but recently, with the recent um, YCS, a lot of players took to the event a variant of the deck running Monarchs Erupt, which pretty much made the deck almost untouchable especially going against a deck like pendulums who can make a huge board and you can make monarchs erupt with your true with your masterpiece and just say shut off your monster effects now we're gonna dig into your ass like real talk that deck is dirty and i can definitely see cars like dreaded Gunning diagram getting hit down to one and or ban and i could definitely see th something like carter demise getting hit down to one and or ban now you guys might be thinking i'm a little crazy on that and saying carter demise don't deserve to get hit and dragon diagram don't deserve to get hit Card of Demise, you guys can argue with me a little bit only because the card, the card does help out rogue decks like, let's say for example, you Senju's deck that, decks that need to draw power but don't have it, so Card of Demise is there to supplement that. But Dragonic Diagram, bruh, like that card is so stupid. And honestly speaking, Masterpiece as a card, I don't even hate it that much. It's like a boss monster that in today's era, by today's Yu-Gi-Oh standards, it's easily out of the Kaijus and etc. I definitely think for if, if Konami's going to hit this deck, I believe they're going to hit the spells and try to slow the deck down even more by touching Dragonic Diagram because not only the, by hitting Dragonic Diagram, you hit the Masterpiece Die deck, you also hit Dinosaurs, which is another deck that's been wrapping up the meta on the regional and local level. On the local level because you have the Dinosaur players playing the True King stuff, which allows you to do the True King Dinosaur deck, which is kind of fucking nutty. Due to the fact that your opponent just spam, spam, spam into the board and OTK you in one turn. And I think Konami is definitely going to try to leave out of doing the whole OTK or bust Yu-Gi-Oh! format we're kind of in right now. Because even if your opponent doesn't beat you on turn one, it's literally the, the first turn of the duel dictates how the duel is going to be. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I might be wrong. I've, been, I've only been playing locals every week for the past three weeks. I might have missed something, but Yu-Gi-Oh! still feels like a dice roll game with the luck of the draw, um, making it, if you don't have a hand trap, you're gonna lose. Now, outside of True Draco, Trick Star is definitely gonna get hit. 
I predict reincarnation and or life stage getting hit. Now, reason why I say reincarnation, you got hit in the OCG. I mean, the car's freaking dumb. Personally, I want it banned. Um, down to one, I think it's kind of fair. Only because like getting reincarnation twice can screw over so many different decks, especially decks that are already hit by Konami like Monarchs. Like I got, I got double reincarnation on Monday twice and at my local tournament I just got wrecked because of that. But, and I say life stage only because like the deck has a lot of consistency and the deck does burn. And I do believe Trick Stars is a fair deck. I, I just believe that things like reincarnation with the fact they could banish your entire hand and bring back a Trick Star monster. And with the fact that life stage searches for you add additional burn damage and forces your opponent to use their back row early and if they can't it pops their back row so it's a continuous mst effectively making the deck not have to run cards like twin twister or mst to deal with threatening face down back row i definitely say thank moving forward since trick stars had their time in the tcg i can see konami hitting their um consistency um by lowering light stage down to two and or one and either flat right flat out banning reincarnation because how dumb it is or hitting it down to one. Um, I don't think any more needs to be done to that deck. I mean, the deck is not that hard to beat. Because um, nine times out of 10, if you have the Ash Blossom or if you have the Effect Veiler, you're gonna beat that deck, even if they have these cards. But I'm talking about mainly when they go first. And even if you do have the Ash Blossom or the Veiler, a double reincarnation can change the tide of the game, especially a reincarnation combo with Droll and Lockbird. Pendulums, now, as far as the Pendulum deck is concerned, I don't really know too much in depth about how that deck can be hit in order to neuter it for a way to make it still playable but not be so overpowered um look thinking back to the deck the only card i can think about hitting is the astrograph sorcerer now the pendulum deck has multiple multiple different ways it can play you can go a full odd ice dragon route you can go a full pepe area pepe's route which is why the pendulum deck is so good because it has so many different ways to play with the Magician route right now, with Astrograph Sorcerer granting you a ton of free pluses, being able to combo with Heavy Metal Fold Electrum to get a bunch of crazy things happening to the field all at once. For one, it's confusing as crap. And for two, I just think Konami don't like the fact that no matter, even if Pendulum don't win a YCS, they're taking a majority of the top cut and they're pretty much running the regional scene right now with the exception of the, the rogue player like me playing something like a Monarchs or a Spirals, I guess that's Rogue now, and doing still pretty well. So definitely, I think Astrograph Sorcerer is a good hit. Um, it does so many combo plays. It gives the deck um, free fodder with the time gauge of Magician it brings out. And then overall, it just does so much for their archetype. If it gets hit down to one, it'll hurt their consistency because they won't be able to bring out that big beater and just being able to just, just replace their board and overall, like I said, I don't know much about the deck, but I do know when they bring the card out, it hurts. And looking at people talking online, this is definitely the card you should hit. And as far as Invoked Mech Knights, um, I don't really see much about the Invoked Mech Knight deck per se getting hit. If it does get hit, the deck is still fairly new to the meta game, and it's not completely running the TCG meta like it once was in the LCG. But it is still a solid deck, and it does top events. If anything, the Invoked engine will get hit. The Mech Knight engine is still too new, in my personal opinion, to get hit. Um, I can definitely see Alistair and the Invoker probably getting hit down to two and or one. No, I think he's at two already. Maybe going down to one. Maybe some of the um, the Invoke Fusions, not the, like the actual Fusion spell card, maybe getting hit to hurt the consistency of the deck. But overall, I think um, Konami moving forward, because we're is going into the national season ban list and or format, Konami's going to want to limit the amount of decks us players can play in order to force us into a two to three deck format like they usually do for the national season in order for the forces to buy a new product like the Layer Dark Destruction Deck and whatever TCG exclusive product they push out for the current set that we're currently in. So I can definitely see, realistically speaking, not saying that it's gonna get hit, the um, Invoked Mech Knight deck getting hit because Konami wanna push more product. Now you can still play the Mech Knights, but they're probably gonna take out the Invoked engine and it's gonna force you to, miss the, to mix the Mech Knight um, deck with something else different. Definitely um, forcing you to um, hit the, play the Mech Knight deck with something different. Not saying it's gonna get hit, but that's just personally what I'm thinking Konami's gonna hit this front at, at this certain time. Because like I said in previous Bandless videos, you really can't predict what Konami's gonna do because they're really unpredictable. Sometimes they hit a lot of things, sometimes they hit little to nothing. I just don't know. Um, Konami is random with their heads. They don't really give us explanations why. I mean, obviously everything's based off of profit, but overall I think Konami going into national season 
with this amount of decks being played, they're definitely gonna wanna cut the fat on that pig to make things a lot easier for them to make more money. I mean, they did go with the reprint set, the Kyber Collection, got all of those hyped, but yeah, now that they kinda sold those out and the hype is kinda down, I could definitely see going into my next hit, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. You got hit down to two in the OCG. Maybe the TCG might take a harder approach and hit it down to one. Personally, do I think it should get hit? Yes, I do. I'm on the, I'm on the side of Ash Blossom should get hit. One card should not have that much power. Um, pit it down to one. I think at one is good enough to not be too broken because honestly speaking, you're not going to open it every game. And when you do open it, it might be bad. Kind of like how Maxi was when it was at one. But even then, even Maxi at one, when you drew it, it was either going to make, it wasn't always going to make you or break. It was just good to have. And even though if you have that one Ash Blossom, it can look like the opponent, I think it'll be as good as Soul Charge, where it's like you hate it, you hate it, you hate getting Ash, but at the same time, it's like, is it really that broken when it's at one versus it being at three? I mean, so overall, I think Ash Blossom definitely need to get, need to get hit. I can realistically see it getting hit because it did get reprinted. Konami sold a F ton of um, Kaiba sets. So yeah, man, um, if it does if it doesn't get hit, I won't care. But if it does get hit, don't say I didn't tell you so. Um, overall, I can definitely see, realistically see it get hit, though. The car's too good. A lot of people complain about it. And honestly speaking, a lot of us hate the hand trap format. Now, people do say that we don't need hand traps to get hit, and we need hand traps to fight the current meta. And I can agree with that point to a certain extent. But I do believe with a few tweaks to the ban list, if we take a bunch of different decks and try to break up their consistency so they don't just make those break my board or bust um, plays and we can go back to a format where it's kind of more like how the half format was where there's a lot of one for one plays and a lot of strategic strategy to get you there i believe we can have something healthy for the meta and by hitting hand traps it can definitely get us there and that's pretty much it as far as my hits are concerned for the ban list and my ban list predictions as far as cards I predict to come back, once again, Konami is completely random. As far as I know, they can bring back Fiber Jar, which is one of my favorite all time cards. Fiber Jar is awesome. But cards I can realistically see come back. Now, Stratos, honestly speaking, I can see it coming back only because we do have hero support um, coming out in the near future. Probably going to be spread out over the summer. I don't know what set Konami is going to put it in. And potentially Disc Commander, only because Disc Commander just got in the route in the OCG. So that's always good, a good candidate to come back. When cards get erratic, they typically come back. So, and then overall, there's a bunch of cards right now on our ban list that shouldn't be on there, but Konami just sprinkling us crumbs so they feel like giving us those cards back at their own said time. So, this is my ban list prediction video. Post your thoughts and opinions about it in the comment section down below. What do you guys think all should be banned? Um, like I said, me personally, ban list predictions are pretty much Trying to predict what Konami is going to do in general is pretty much impossible. So this is just think, this is me hitting the ban list prediction from a money aspect and a more of a corporate aspect than anything than what truly needs to get. Because if I really want to say what truly needs to get hit, the video will probably be over an hour of me just ranting and complaining about what I want. So post your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't. This is Innovation YGO and I'm signing out. Peace and stay innovative. Deuces.